Sami Lumiti from Kakamega. I have the honor to be the lead pastor for the Weekend Challenge 2024 Friends School Kamsinga. I want to really appreciate the opportunity to do that. The theme under which we, we gathered was from the book of Ephesians chapter number 5 from verse 15 to 16. And the actual words we have been pondering on are making the most of every opportunity. We are what we are because of the books that we read. I was wondering, does it really require a book for me to be who I am? And I reflected on one thing, that God had to leave behind a book when he went to heaven. That Jesus made it possible that the nation of Israel should be given a book. The disciples were given a book whose name is called the Bible. And we read the Bible and the Bible says in Romans chapter number 12 verse number 1 onwards that you know, uh, 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 you will be transformed by the renewal of your mind. So when your mind is renewed, that is how your life is going to change. And the renewal of mind is not possible where there is no knowledge. Where the renewal of the mind is not possible where there is no feeding of knowledge. That's why God told Joshua, you want to succeed? I'm going to leave you a book. Moses has written some books. We call them the Pentateuch. And I just want you to ponder over them when you are at home, when you are rising up, when you are seated down, when you are going to the market. Joshua, this is where your success is going to come from. If you look into my back, I always have an additional book apart from the Bible because books change my life. Books will change your life. Praise the living God. There are books in heaven. Time doesn't allow me to mention all of them. There is the book of life and there is the book of death and there is book, the book of remembrance of deeds and there, you know, so many of those books are in heaven. God is a bookworm. God is a, is a person who writes and records things into books. And that is why there are institutions like this one. Somebody told me we don't need schools, we only need to go to heaven. And I told them you are wrong. It is because of books that people have become who they are tonight. And not only the books, but the friends you meet are going to determine your destiny. The people you interact with are going to change how well you are going to do in life. The people you meet along the, the life course are going to determine whether you're going to be a failure or a success. That's why I told you yesterday there are some people God is going to send along your line of life so that they can speak some things into your life. So that they can set a stake for you to perform. So that they can usher you into where they are. You need to know somebody. It is the friends that you interact with, your associates, that determine how far you go in life. Oh, hallelujah. But apart from that, we have the decisions that you make. The decisions that we make every other day of our lives will determine how well we do. When you look at me right now, it is because I have made some choices in life that have composed the package you can see right now. In school, there are choices that you make. Uh, some people decide I'm going to sleep in morning preps long before they wake up. And some people decide I'm not going to do this problem. And that is, and, and that is what determines their performance. And some people decide I'm not going to open school on day number one. And that determines how well they begin programs. Are you hearing me? Oh Jesus Christ and, 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 and some of us have decided that apart from every other knowledge we know in this world We are going to know Jesus Oh come on Look at them tell them your choices Will change your life There is nothing good as knowing Jesus Because Jesus is going to teach you how to stop it You don't have to learn it on your own Jesus is going to teach you how to stop it I am here to tell you that you can make one good decision. Just know Jesus Christ. Just know Jesus Christ. And if you know Jesus Christ, the knowledge of everything else, it will go down, come to you. For these three days, we have been here. Make a decision and come over where we are because you will survive for long and do stuff that is great, not only for yourself and your mother, but for you are God as well because you have a purpose and a reason for life. I'm speaking to somebody that God has assigned and given an assignment to Friends School Kamsika to do some stuff. But 
you are hanging out there because you don't know what God created you for. I have come to remind you you are created for a purpose. I have come to remind you you are created for a great reason. I have come to remind you you are not an accident and an occurrence in this institution. It was by divine plan of God that you are here. And God has great plans for you. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 29 that I have good plans for you. And these plans are not meant to fail you. They are meant to give you a future and a success. They are meant to make you excellent and great.
Keith Mukabi. I'm the Christian Union Chairman of Friends School Kamsinga. And I would just like to say that this weekend challenge of the year 2024 has been a blessing. Being my last one here in this institution, I want to take this opportunity to appreciate the Almighty God for allowing us to have this event today and our patrons as well. And the theme of this weekend challenge, making the most out of your time, because the days are evil, as the book of Ephesians says, that even as we have made our institution God's habitation, that the experience for me in this weekend challenge has been so great. And I would wish to extend my encouragements to the rest of the other learners in various institutions to take, this, to take up this example and also to help each other out so that we may grow in the kingdom better and more powerful, that we may be glorified for the glory and honor of the Lord in Jesus' name. Praise Jesus. My name is Ndiema Amos, a fourth year student from Kibabi University. Actually, we've been much privileged to be invited here at Friends School Kamusinga for a weekend challenge. It has been of much blessings. And uh, it is pleasing how good uh, to bring such a young generation in a way that we know they won't depart it. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 119 that how shall a young man keep his ways pure? And by living and guiding the life according to the word of God. And therefore it is very much impressing when we see such a young generation. They are brought up in a way that we know that when they grow up, they won't depart it. Praise the Lord, Mbogo Joseph. I'm a teacher at Race School Kamsinga, and I'm part of the Christian Union. We've had the weekend challenge, and we've actually seen a lot of victory in this weekend challenge. Actually, um, weekend challenges are important in schools because uh, uh, it's a platform where the learners are, are involved in spiritual matters. We build uh, their way of worship. We provide a forum where they can praise and worship and glorify the Lord and we deal with the spiritual aspect of these students. So it has been a very important session and uh, a successful one because the Lord has been faithful also on our side. We would like to uh, encourage the other schools out there to be conducting these weekend challenges because they are important uh, for the spiritual life and matters of our learners. Praise the Lord. I am Wev Nikendagor, a co-worker with the Christian Union Friends School Kamsinga. It's been a glorious moment in the presence of the Lord. Uh, to see young people stirred up to realize what they are supposed to do in life is a beautiful thing, and especially to nurture them to walk in the ways of the Lord. So we bless God, especially for the ministers and the Rema word that they have been given by the Lord, that they should seize the opportunities. Uh, because if we leave young people to, to, to wonder without knowing that they have to seize the available moment, then we lose them. So we give God all the glory and honor. We look forward to more weekend challenges. Praise the Lord. Brethren, my name is John Kangede Mwangi. I really thank God for this opportunity just to share what God has done for us the entire weekend. When we were planning and anticipating to have this weekend challenge, we didn't know that it's going to be this great and powerful. Friends School Kamsinga is a blessed institution. You know, the presence of God cannot be without His power. And therefore, we are here to attest that the power of God has equipped us so that we are having such a session to glorify and attest of His uh, goodness and kindness. So we are grateful and thankful to all brethren and members who helped in arranging and preparing. And therefore, as a servant of God, I really thank you for giving us the opportunity to even share what we ourselves have experienced in this weekend challenge. It's not about the students alone, but even us as the patrons, we've experienced the grace of God. This is Friends School Kamsinga. We've been having the weekend challenge and we are so blessed. As one of the patrons that are running this program, I want to tell you out there that indeed this has been a lovely occasion. We have had prayers here, we have had worship, and most importantly, we have had the living word of God cutting across the hearts of the students and all the people that have attended this event. As we have learned today, that everything that we have emanates from the spiritual. And that's why we train our dear boys to fear God and to be people of prayer. If there is something that I would wish to happen in this land is to raise generations
to raise people who understand communion with God. Praise the Lord. My name is Dr. Lilian Wasike, a co-worker in the Christian Union Friends School Kamasinga. On behalf of Friends School Kamasinga, we would like to thank God so much for what we've heard. It's been a wonderful experience. The weekend challenge has indeed inspired us. And we thank God because he has begun it with us. And we believe this year is going to be a different year because God is doing new things in our lives, and not just as teachers and even as students, and even the whole community of Friends School Kamasinga. We give God all the glory and honor, and we thank everyone who has made it successful. Thank you so much. God bless you. We have been blessed. Thank you. Lift your hands and appreciate the name of Jesus.